today I'm going to show you guys how to do like a, a handwritten text thing. So um, this can work like if you have a specific font that you want to use, um, but you know, it's probably included into a plugin and you have to pay for it, or maybe you want like it to be more authentic and you want to use your own handwriting, this can work. So the first thing you're going to do is um, write down whatever you want in black ink on a white piece of paper. And it really helps if you can get, when you take a picture of it, you can get it to be completely white um, by using like lights and stuff. But this one, I'll get into it in just a second on why this, this one's a little bit challenging to um, get on the screen to delete everything in the book. So anyways, um, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to drag down your picture from the browser, um, brought it down over here, and then you're going to put it to where you want it. So I'm just going to put it there. And then the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the effects browser and we're going to look for an effect called negative. So we're going to drag that over our picture. And then the first thing, and then right after that, before we touch anything on the um, on the negative effect, we're going to go and adjust the exposure. So what we want to do is we want to bring, so we're going to bring the exposure all the way down to where you can't see anything. And then the blend mode is going to be um, linear dodge. So over here in the negative, effect, we're going to click um, Linear Invert, which should get rid of all the background behind the text. Um, so right now, for the most part, your text is on the screen, and that's your handwriting. So you can kind of play around with it. It depends on how you want it. Um, but to avoid any issues with the exposure, it's just better if when you're taking the picture, you can completely avoid any shadows on the page, um, get it completely white. Um, and that'll help out a lot. Um, and next week I'm going to teach you guys how to add um, uh, keyframes to get it to look like you're writing it on the screen. But yeah, that's my effect for this week.